Welcome to the video on the H&O portal and the contact registration page. First thing you need to do is go to Hockey Northwestern Ontario's website at www.hockeyhno.com. Once here you'll see the home page and on the right hand side you can find the link to the portal by clicking the portal button. Once here you'll need to enter the user ID and password that you were provided via email. Once you have done that, click the login button and you'll be taken to the HNO portal homepage. In the future, you'll see announcements and bulletins on this homepage. For right now, we're going to focus on the member section and contact registration. So you hold your cursor over member and go down to the third option, contact registration. Once here, you'll see the contact registration page and you should only see your club. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to use Lac Sewell as our club. The primary information, we have tabs across the top here, and the primary person, this is yourself, as the person accessing the portal for your association, team, or league. At the bottom here, you're going to see an acknowledgement button, which you'll need to click off, which has the terms of membership for Hockey Northwestern Ontario. We used to do this on a paper form. Now you'll click it here to acknowledge it, and you'll click on this blue little button up here to save it. Please ensure that you do that. So again, the primary tab is for the person accessing the portal. The courier tab is the mailing address for the association, league, or team. Please enter the proper information here. So we can email constitutions. If we have to email rule books or send out anything hard copy during the year, we need the proper mailing address. You'll enter your president's information on this tab, your secretary information here. We'll show you here an example of how to do a secretary. Enter in the first name and the last name. A phone number. An email address. And then you hit the search icon since this is the first time you're using the portal. And you'll get a notification that the club association contact is not in the system and do you want to create it? And you'll click yes. And then you have a pop-up box here telling you that that contact information is saved and you'll click OK. Once you've done that, you've, and you can see that the contact information is now here in the system. If you wanted to update the information, say with an alternative phone number, you'd enter that phone number here. You'd go up to the blue box and you'd click it. And then you would say contact information saved. And when you went back in, you would see that that information is there. So that is the steps you would do to enter in a person. So you enter in the first name, last name, phone number, email, and then search. The system will look if the person's there or not. And if they are not, they'll create them. That is how you go about entering someone into the contact registration. Again, the tabs across the top, so we need your president, your secretary, the treasurer for the organization for billing purposes we need. If you have a development person, someone who's going to contact our technical director or work with them for clinic information, you'll enter that there. We would like to know who's running your initiation program with the focus on initiation being so big now. That's a key person for us to contact. If you don't know who that person is now, you can update that information in the fall, but we definitely want to know who's running your initiation program for your minor hockey association. We need to know who your registrar is. Please enter that contact information. If you have a person looking after tournaments, please enter them under the tournament director tab. And the last one is the referee in chief. Please enter your referee in chief for your association here. This will be someone that the branch referee in chief will deal with and contact, and this will also help them get information on supervisions. Once you've completed the contact registration and you've saved the information and you've checked the acknowledgement box here at the bottom, you can log out of the system by going up to log in, log out, and clicking on log out. Thanks for watching our video.